Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and we're gonna be looking at a very quick tutorial on how to use multi-level tokens. It's a very powerful tool that helps you move between the scenes without DMs input. Basically combating the scenarios where the DM has to manually swap the scenes for every player. That being said, I'm gonna be doing a dual module presentation to some extent. So that being said, let's get right into it. I already have both module installs, so multi-level tokens and as well my own module. And I'm gonna go into a Pathfinder second edition world I already set up. Okay, give it a couple of moments to load. Um, on the canvas, I will ha already have set up three maps, two player, two player tokens and two NPC tokens. Okay, starting from uh, the order of editing. I want to make this token be able to swap to this scene, go to this NPC, purchase one of the item, uh, I will say selenium in this situation, go back to, let's close that, tavern one, Purchase one item and while he's in here, to still be spotted by this token. Okay, that being said, uh, let's get right into it. So, with uh, the drawing tool selected, we are going to be drawing a triangle. It can be absolutely any shape, but I prefer triangles because they're easy. After drawing, double click, select multi level. Um, at teleports, you're gonna be having in, so basically if a token goes in, it's gonna be uh, popping up in, on another side, and out, if you wanna make it back and forth. Teleport identifier, I'm gonna be use EVN, um, basically a shortcut for ta tavern, blacksmith, uh, BLSM, that sounds very low key as BDSM, but not my intent. Okay. Okay, and update token. Okay, now we do have this already set up. So, teleport identifier, I'm simply gonna copy. And I'm gonna go, sorry, now to the second tavern. Oh, actually, that's my bad. I but poorly named that. Let me correct that one. Black. And around here seems like the spot where the token should appear. And let's go to multi-level, in and out. Update drawing. Okay, let's test it very quickly out. And as you can see, the token appeared on the specific map. This is in mind, let's go. Open the inventory. And let's get the selenium. Right. I'm playing with cheats apparently. There we go. Uh, gold has been deducted. Now let's go back to, I'm gonna take another cheat. And the token has reappeared here. Just be mindful if they will keep moving on the scene tile several times there is a possibility of teleporting. So make this uh, as thin as possible. Just enough to f uh, for the tokens to fit them. Okay, now we're going to the other NPC. And we're going to be simply purchasing from Danica the apple. Okay, the apple was cheap. No, deduction was made. Okay, now we are facing with a different problem. This NPC cannot see what's going on below. So, let's fix that very quickly. So, I would say roughly like this. Create a rough shape around here. Okay. 
I'm simply gonna be naming it uh, see-through source and target okay uh, you have token cloning set up if the maps are exact the next part should go very smoothly okay so I'm gonna simply select this copy make sure you have copy that data and I've selected the wrong one don't worry and I'm simply gonna paste just to make sure I'm gonna yeah yeah the multi-level token did, did not copy so this is gonna be see-through this is gonna be source sorry this is going to be the source uh, of what the above player will see and this is going to be the target okay and update drawing as you can clearly see both tokens are now visible on the layer below so let me know if you have any questions and i will um, provide uh, answers to the limit of my knowledge in the comments below um, my module is basically a world building tool it contains around now 250 items that are common goods that can be distributed throughout your world npc markets etc etc depending on what your players will want i do not have no magical items um, they're only created to be able to provide a little bit of more variation on the regular items they will be able to find in the world so take it as a world building tool i'm currently sitting at roughly 250 items and they range from herbs to potions to fruits and vegetables lumber uh, logs and some fabric and in ignorance you can use them this uh each one of them has been provided a small description and some idea on what it does basically providing a little bit of lore boost uh the gems as well have been provided a little bit of description on how they were used in the past or on what they can be used i did not take in consideration any specific setting and you can use them as freely as you want. With that being said, thank you so much for joining me so far. And I do wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Do let me know if you have any questions on either of the modules. Toodles!